breaking news, Nigerians. Again, Tinubu shocked the nation as he sent strong requests to Tribunal to do this to Peter Obi. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Thank you. According to the Lords of Nigeria, in order to be declared the victor of a presidential election, a candidate must not only get the largest number of votes in total, but also at least 25% of the vote in a majority of the country's 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory, FCT. However, there is some controversy over the requirement that a candidate must get at least 25% of the vote in order to be deemed the victor of an election in the FCT. Although Bola Tinubu was proclaimed the victor of the disputed election, that took place on February 25, 2023, because he received the largest number of votes. No candidate was able to achieve 25% of the votes in the FCT, with the exception of Peter Obi, who received 59% of the votes. The result of the election, which ultimately resulted in Tinubu becoming president of Nigeria, are now being challenged in court. On May 6, a process before a tribunal was opened over this problem. In the event that no candidate received the required number of votes to win the election, the top two candidates will compete in a round-off election. It was expected that the first contender will get the most votes, while the second candidate was expected to win the majority of votes in the majority of states. Nevertheless, a proof was carried out to ascertain whether or not the president of Nigeria had, in fact, put in a request of this kind. On July 4th, INEC presented its loan, its own witness to finish its defense in the action, contesting the result of the presidential election. This brought the matter to a successful conclusion, according to several sources in the media. The presiding judge, Aruna, said that the day on which the decision will be delivered to all of the parties. The court had not yet announced its judgment on the case, nor had it indicated whether or not a retrial would be possible at the time that this investigation was conducted. If it had been accurate, it would have gained a tremendous amount of media attention because of the importance of such a judgment. Meanwhile, amid the speculations that the judgment of the presidential election petition tribunal might resort to a rerun election, the throw of uh, Atiku Abubaka, Rabiu, Kwan Kwasu, and Peter Obi have opened talks for a merger. Okay. In a report by this day, the, control, the conversations between the presidential bannermen of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, the, the New Nigerian People's Party, NNPP, and the Labour Party, have been ongoing in the background for a while now. A source revealed that the true of Obi, Atiku, and Kwan Kwaso would resort to a merger in 2027 if the tribunal judgment goes south. Peter Obi, Atiku Abubaka, Rabi Kwan Kwaso. Report revealed that talks kicked off between Atiku and Kwan Kwaso and later transcended into a meeting between Obi and other stakeholders of the PDP. As reported by Arise TV Online, it was gathered that the preliminary stage of the meeting between the two was hinged on three re uh, resolutions. The report confirmed that the 
the three had agreed to wait for the tribunal's verdict, which would be a determinant to trigger the next phrase of the conversation between the three leaders of the opposition party. This was hyped on the premix that a second phrase would ensue if the tribunal's verdict went south. Meanwhile, sources privy to the meeting revealed that the opposition leaders were optimistic that the tribunal would be just and fair in its verdict to unseat President Bola Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress APC. Similarly, the source revealed that these leaders were hopeful that a rerun might ensue, which might likely trigger a merger to wake some power from the APC and uh, President Tinubu. The source said the meeting started with Kwan Kwasu and the uh, article, and they have agreed to bring Peter Obi in to set up a formidable opposition after the court cases. Although they have not got to the point of discussing which will lead the opposition, they are leaving it out for now till after the, the court cases. The source further confirmed that should the tribunal's judgment go in favor of the ruling party, they will need to they will need the option to resort to a major for the 20, uh, 2027 presidential polls. The source said after the court case, they will plan and come together for a re-election or stand together ahead to fight the 2023 election battle. They are considering a formidable party comprom comprising the PDP, Labour Party and, and NNPP. So guys, let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.